With the announcement of Mario Party Jamboree, me and my friends, Gabe, Chris, and my fiance Cass, all got the feeling that we kind of wanted to hate each other for the next hour and a half. After all, Mario Party is a game all about one thing, ruining our friendship. We decided on playing some Mario Party Superstars, and I was immediately disappointed to see that I couldn't play as Koopa Troopa. In a moment of disbelief, and maybe a little bit of rage, I decided we should do a 30 turn game. <laughs> Turn that to max moves. We're, we're gonna be here. What? However, my friends talk me out of it, and we decide to go with a 25 turn game instead. Okay. Right. Getting into the game, the order goes Gabe as Luigi, me as Peach, Cass as Daisy, yeah. and Chris as Yoshi. Yeah. I start the game with a resounding one. So this is the kind of game we're going to be playing, huh? We then discover that stickers are in this game, and Chris discovers an interesting Yoshi sticker. Oh, yeah. Well anyway, first mini game, horse racing. This is a high speed race where the horse you ride will spin out if you go too fast. A true test of skill this game is. But in order to take the momentum running, I had to win this first mini game. <laughs> I didn't look. Chris, you gave me his dog. You get it. Oh my god. Slow. No! No, that fucked me. No! What? No, it's not here. It's a full on foot race, Chris! It's a foot race! Ah! <laughs> yeah! What? What did I spin? Well placed power up as well as loads of luck, and the first minigame was all mine. However, there was a long game ahead of us, and many more minigames to come. Games such as Subway Surfers, but for hyperactive ADHD children. Anyhow, after the minigame, I decide it's time to start making enemies, as I buy a cursed dice to enact evil deeds later. However, this round belonged to Yoshi, as Chris managed to get the first star of the game, only to immediately be given back half the coins he just spent on it. Cake Factory! We start this game with me and Chris versus Cass and Gabe. Chris says something a bit overconfident and a little bit sus, needless to say. Uh, I've got Aiden, so uh, I automatically win. Anyway, we lost this game, and it definitely wasn't Chris's fault at all. I decide next turn that if I can't have the star, no one can, and like a selfish toddler, send it all the way across the map. Time to swim! Needless to say, Don't do that. I'm no Michael oh, no. Phelps. I'm dead. Gabe decides over. to steal coins, and as if the fates truly hate me, he chooses random. In this case, like many others, fate chooses me. Thus Gabe and I are now permanently entwined in battle, as I will not let this go. So I drop my curse dice on him, and will worry about the consequences of my actions later. We win the next minigame to get some coins, but Gabe immediately fires back with the curse dice of his own. He then starts a coin betting battle, and we are all like people trapped in Vegas. Luckily, this is a game I'm good at, and very hyped to win. Yes! Wait, what? Yes! By one percent! That's why he's the GOAT! I immediately drop another curse dice on Gabe, furthering the war between us. Cass passes up on a star because she's poor, and then she decides to take money from all of us by landing on a Bowser space. Chris then immediately manages to get another star, and celebrates accordingly. With Chris furthering his lead, I didn't know exactly what I should do. Who's becoming too strong too early? What were we to do about it? He is the richest person, and he already has two stars. It felt like a comeback was becoming seemingly impossible, and it was only the beginning of the game. But then... <laughs> You've consistently just gotten... Oh, what if I can get three? <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh no. Champ's time. Oh. You can steal your stars, Chris. Like, literally all of them, if you want. Yo, I'm just saying, if he gets that, that's gonna be a hit. 
<laughs> Gabe is uh, Gabe is tryharding. He is getting close for this. Oh, I I'm involved. Yes, I'm involved. I'm getting stars. I got the stars. You gave me stars, Gabe. Oh That's a hit. I felt invincible at that moment. I was on top of the world. I was instantly thinking of a video title. How I stole this Mario Party game. But this was not the end of the game, and I was still far from winning. As the turns go by, I managed to obtain another star and continue moving up in the world. Things were good, and everything was going relatively normal. Bonus stars are still an act. God, oh, God damn it, lucky face. Come on, baby. Uh, uh, oh! oh! Yeah. What? Normal. I then taught all my friends that not all Mario Party games were created equal, and some are just outright unfair. Get him! Come on! Get him! Goddammit, no sir. Yeah, no. No sir. Everything is still going quite smoothly, but Chris does manage to get another star and put a little bit of pressure on my lead. I do try to mess with him a bit, but he kinda calls me out on my bluff. Just when I thought I was getting out of the wood, the game reminds me of why this game is about ruining friendships. And he not only gets his first star, but he manages to steal my star in this turn as well. And in the same turn, Chris steals coins from me as well. Everything was crumbling, and it was all of their faults. And as if I wasn't fighting hard enough to stay alive, life decided I needed to defend against a goal against three people. And you know what? I still won that minigame, so maybe life was right to target me a bit. On the next turn, I managed to land on a versus space and get everyone to have to put up 30 coins. This was great for me since I only had 9 coins. So, let's race! Winning myself 63 coins from this game put me right back yeah, in the race for first. Down, no. And as if I couldn't avoid the heat right now, Cass also dropped a curse dice on me. We were getting pretty delirious at this point, and some real life minigames started to happen, such as Gabe spilling his drink. Cass gets her first star finally and lands on a Bowser space to make all of us a bit scared. What? 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 Oh, oh, he ran away. He lied. <laughs> Yet again, someone stealing my coins, cause why not? Still, not the scariest thing about this round, as Chris gets a chance time and feeds game 20 of my coins. Time to talk about another villain of this story. As I've been getting attacked by Bowser this entire game and actively been fat shamed for it, all I'm saying is, we should cancel Bowser. I got to show off my ice cream stacking skills and won this minigame accordingly. My turn to get a Bowser space, and of course he robbed me of even more coins. If you aren't seeing the problem with this, then you simply are part of the problem. Chris also finally pulls back in the lead and takes another star. And now Gabe starts to pull ahead of me as he gets a star this turn as well. However, he also lands on a Bowser space and he takes half of his coins. Finally, a little bit of fairness from Bowser. Perhaps getting cancelled changed him a little bit. I decided to steal some coins from Chris as he had the most at the time and accidentally moved the star. Cass takes this opportunity to take the second star of the game. 
Then, as if I hadn't been attacked enough, Chris, despite seeing Gabe, is clearly in second and could t overtake the game, decides that 10 coins I stole from him was enough to steal another star from me. There are less than 10 turns left, and I have been harassed by the map, my friends, and especially Bowser! What could I do? What was my win condition? Me and Gabe win the next minigame, and I look at the map trying to figure out what I could do. After being obliterated by each and every one of my friends, as if finally to prove a point, Cass almost steals my star out of malice, but we convince her to go with random instead. Finally, a breath of fresh air. I finally realized that I needed to go for a very thing that put me in first to begin with. Chance time. I win some coins from a secret block, and Cass has to pass up on a star that would have put her in the running for first. Five turns left. If I was going to win this game, I needed a miracle, and Toad decided to aid me in this endeavor, giving me a golden pipe. Gabe also buys a golden pipe this turn, and gets even luckier. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Gabe, I actually want you. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Gabe. I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. Chris, we're taking down Chris. Me and Gabe may be really drunk at this point, but for some reason, we completely forgot about our beef and started going at Chris out of nowhere. No, fuck you, Chris. You fucked You, this you know, I'm realizing now, Chris, Chris, Chris has turned us against each other from the fucking start. You guys turned each other he against each other. He played us. He wanted us. He played us. I have, I've literally just been sitting here, and you guys are just conflicting with each other. He fucking played us. However, despite our effort, Chris manages to get another star and furthers his lead more. Next turn though, Gabe uses his golden pipe and gets another star, putting him only one star behind again. I could steal a star, but I decide not to, because I value having coins at this moment, since I can't really play the game for getting stars. I even get a little bit lucky and secure a custom dice block to secure landing on chance time. Chris, of course, steals coins from Gabe to try and stop him from stealing the win. But he lands on Gabe, causing a duel to happen between them. He decides to wager all of his coins against Gabe, and this game could honestly decide who wins the game. Oh, no, I like yeah! I won rock, paper, scissors. I I won. I'm proud of myself. Y'all are so slow. Come on. Pick up space. Pick up space. They're swinging. They're donkey kong. Except not. Oh no, I fucked it up. <laughs> you both messed up at the exact same time. This isn't. This is actually close. Oh, oh Christmas! That was bullshit. He barely missed. Oh my god, he's just- OH NO! Uh, Chris, you're behind. You gotta catch up. You gotta play risk here. Uh, Chris, that's the last jump. He's got one jump! I'm worked up! Blue Tail! Yeah, that's all the good news. Dude, that's 38. <laughs> it was time. I only had one chance left. I used my custom dice block and landed on chance time. Despite all my efforts, all the mini games I won, all the challenges I faced, my game would be decided by this chance time. This was not my game to win, it seemed. Although we were once enemies, throughout the game, Gabe and me had somehow made amends and found a common enemy in Chris. By taking 30 coins from Chris, the path was open for Gabe to win this game. Oh, 
Oh, you jumped shit. off of him. No! Sad. Abe accidentally moves the star away from him, but in the same turn, I move it directly back to the other path to make sure he gets the star in the final turn of the game. Final turn. Gabe instantly secures the final star of the game and leaves the entirety of the game up to bonus stars now. Final minigame. This could decide who wins the possible minigame star, so it's very important for Gabe to win this. Fine, that's it, Freddy's failed you. The purple guy killed you, Chris. Anxiety simulator, like. Oh! Oh no, you're blowing up! Alright, I'm not letting you have this one. Even though I lost the game, I'm it's not the letting you have it. It's the Battle of the Princesses. Demons. You know, purple guys never failed me before! Hello, everybody. And he still hasn't! Hello. Purple guy still hasn't! Hello, this is Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> This is Freddy, Fa one, two, Freddy Fazbear's, guys. Right. One, two, three, oh my god! Oh, oh. oh my god. Guys, Welcome. I will oh, say it again. I will say Welcome it again. He's yellow. never it was failed me. Freddy Fazbear's. Freddy Fazbear's. No! Freddy Fazbear's! No! No! What? Yeah, you win. I hope you get the minigame star for it. Stop spraying me, man. Chris. Well, he didn't. Time for the bonus stars. This will decide everything. Sightseer bonus. Who saw the most uh, special spaces? Oh, Daisy got first one. Daisy's got first one. Put, put, your, put your stickers down. No, no more stickers, Chris. Slowpoke, who rolled the least amount of spaces? Who went the slowest? I think the winner gets. The oh! Nice! I think Gabe wins because of that Wait, star. Wait, what? I think Gabe wins because of that star. So Gabe was the winner. What a game! The highs were high and the lows were definitely low. But if there was anything I learned from this game, it's that just because you start as enemies doesn't mean you can't find common ground. Also, maybe alcohol in this game were made for each other. We have his uh his moment of speech with y'all. Luigi moment. Everyone expects it to be Mario, but like Luigi is the man. Don't you ever forget. I have three mansions, bitches!